you have been taking, since you've been this director, you have been taking and have taken this museum into a different place, a more community-minded, more, uh, not just the history of Skinner's and or fabrics or textiles, and this is no shade on the previous people. Yeah. This is just that it's very obvious that you have been open to saying, we want all sorts of creatives showing their work here. What inspired you to do that? Um, I just saw a need for it, I guess. I, I, I studied art history, that's my background. Um, and I also love history museums and I think a lot of times uh, portions of communities get cut out of those spaces. And I think it's really important to celebrate um, an inclusive and a more full history um, so that that way we can tell a better, more complete picture. And that way um, everyone in the community feels like this is a resource that's for them, that includes them, um, and is also about them. And is there, you know, it seems like this is the city's museum and cultural center. And yet, what is this place called? Wisteria Hearst Museum. Right. So is that the correct name for a place like this? Um, well, we've now kind of rebranded it as Holyoke's Museum and Gardens. Um, I think the Wisteria Hearst name is kind of a unique name for the institution and especially highlights like the wisteria vines that cover the house. So in that respect, we also wanted to claim it for Holyoke and claim the gardens for Holyoke as well. Cause a lot of times people don't realize that our gardens are open to the public dawn to dusk all year round. Um, and we just want to make it clear that this is their museum. It's not just the Wisteria Hearst Museum. It is Holyoke's museum and gardens. And gallery. And gallery and cultural center yes and places of for talks yes and so how do you put all that in one name? you can't <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully that intrigues people to like see what we're up to and we just launched a new website that was fully translated into Spanish not a plug-in we had people working on those translations a wonderful student from Amherst College did a lot of the um, core information for us so it took us over two years to kind of get that done and in place but we hope that that is another level that adds, um, you know, awareness that like we, we do want to serve as many people as we can. And we're working on a, a dose, like a audio tour for the house in English and Spanish. So no matter when you come by, you can kind of get this really great audio experience of the museum. Mm -hmm.